get an extra a crop in. He is the education director of the Camel's Art Gallery, and we're talking today about the latest exhibit that is here until the end of June. It's called The Poetics of Space. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for coming. Yes. We also want to get out of the way first before we talk about this fantastic exhibit, that despite the fact that renovations are ongoing right now, the art gallery is very much open every day, so don't be afraid to come down and check it out. Uh, Emily, tell us a little bit about the Poetics of Space. Great. Uh, so it's here to us on tour from the Vancouver Art Gallery uh, through this program called Across the Province, which they get sponsored through the Killey Foundation. Um, basically, that means that these great big exhibitions that the Vancouver Art Gallery puts on get reduced in size and then uh, brought to art galleries like ours in the interior of BC. Very nice. There's yeah. a lot of interesting pieces that make up this exhibit. Yeah, absolutely. So it was curated by Dinah Gatiss and Emily Wall and then supplemented with four works from our permanent collection by our curator, Chero Neville. Um, and this whole exhibition, it basically looks at the idea of space and how artists have grappled with this idea throughout history. So the exhibition contains uh, paintings and photographs, drawings, video, all kinds of artwork, all looking at this idea of space and how have artists tried to grapple with this idea. Um, to be clear, we're not talking about outer space. There's nothing in here about Mars. Um, it's more about the space that we inhabit and how we inhabit that space and how artists can explore different ideas and do that through different means. Okay. Um, so in the first area, the fracturing of form, we look at the development of abstraction. So how can artists use geometric shapes, different colors, uh, different applications of paint to get us to think about landscape in a totally different way? How can an artist get us to think about the way they feel about a space through the way that they depict it? Nice. Uh, in the psychic weight of the domestic, we look at where we live and how the places that we spend all of our time in influence who we are. And so artists do this in a lot of different ways in this exhibition. Uh, the main image that we've used for all of our marketing is um, this really beautiful pencil crayon drawing by Annie Pudaguk. And it's this really intimate scene of a young couple with their child in their home and they're listening to the radio and the child is playing and we really get a sense of their life. Um, there's another painting in here by an artist, Rene Van Helm, that's something more out of Dwell magazine or HGTV, looking this really idealized sense of home, um, which also actually depicts the home of one of our old curators, Susan Edelstein, which okay. we find personally interesting. That works for a permanent collection. <laughs> that's great. And then we have the mapping of space. Um, so in that, artists try to think about not just a traditional map, but how can we think about mapping the land that we inhabit through our actions, through our experiences, and think about the, the greater social implications of a map. Right. And then there's this big elaborate bed at the at one end of the uh, <laughs> yes, museum. Yes, yeah. yeah, so that's Rebecca Belmore's work. And in that, she's, she's really thinking about um, colonialization and, and the, the role of uh, colonial beds and, and the indigenous peoples. And um, it's covered in human hair. Uh, Is it really? Yeah, it's a really evocative piece. Very interesting. Yeah. And how many exhibits make up this? Because there's very many, um, it, a lot of them. Yes, yeah, so it's one, it's one exhibition, but divided into three separate three spaces. Separate areas. Those, um, those three areas that I mentioned. So the fracturing of form, the psychic weight of the domestic, yeah. and the mapping of space. And there's just two people responsible for the entire way it's come together? Yeah, two, two curators. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. What do you want people to be thinking about when they walk through these? Oh, rooms? gosh, that's a big question. I it suppose is. I want them to be thinking about the way they inhabit space and also maybe about the spaces that leave marks on them um, and the way that that's happened. Like what domestic space maybe has left the greatest impact on you? Um, I have a particular memory when I was a little kid of lying on the ground in my uh, childhood home and thinking about what it would be like if I could walk on the ceiling. I have done the same. I remember <laughs> that as a child. That's interesting. Yeah, and some, uh, one of the works that's in here by Alex Morrison, he draws from memory the floor plans of every home he's ever lived in. And so when I look at that work, I'm reminded of this experience when I was you know, like five, mm -hmm. six, lying on the floor of my house, trying to think about the floor plan, but upside down. Yes. Um, we have this great resource area behind us here where we ask people to do that same thing, um, to draw from memory the floor plan of one of their homes. 
And we also have another work in here by a local artist, Monica McGarry, where she's looking at the idea of a place versus a non-place in a city. So a place being um, a spot that's meant for humans to be. So where we might live, where we might sleep, all those kinds of things, uh, versus a non-place, which is generally meant more for traffic. Mm -hmm. And so she's, she's mapped out um, Upper Sahali and downtown, mm -hmm. showing places versus non-places. And then asked our visitors to write on little comment cards if they could change the place-non-place -place ratio in Kamloops, what would they change? Where would they add a park? Where would they take away a parking lot? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Very evocative thinking. Yeah. I like that. Great exhibit. Uh, again, uh, the Poetics of Space, as mm -hmm. it's called. Uh, fantastic layout here. A lot to see down at the art gallery. And it's here through until the end of June. Emily, thank you very much for being here today thank to you tell so us much about for it. Coming. Yeah. You're definitely encouraged to come down and check it out. And again, as a reminder, the art gallery is open, despite the fact there are some renovations going on. Not a big deal at all. You can come down and check out this wonderful exhibit until the end of next month. We'll take a quick break, more midday in two minutes. Stay with us.